um it's currently saturday around 20 past seven this is my outfit this is a this is a two-piece that nozzy got for me at chin last year for my birthday uh wearing that and my yeah woolly slides i'm going to do my nails uh i don't know why i chose a 7 8 not 7 8 a.m appointment okay i do know it was 7 or 3 p.m. and I was like, I'm not about to go to, to the salon at 3 to, to leave at 5. That would mean I'm probably in town most of the day because I also want to run errands after this. Anyways, yeah, just only had a banana, so I'll have breakfast after. Anyways, yeah, hi. I'm drinking water. It's so hot. And I actually just had to switch off the the fan because it was so loud. And yeah, let's just show you what I got. I got an orange dress. I own an orange skirt, a very dark orange skirt, but never this bright orange. I didn't fit this green this dress. I did fit a black one. So yeah, I have an event that I'm attending next week. It said be bright <laughs> and I almost bought a black dress because <laughs> like my justification was that I'll wear pink shoes and yeah, so I'll wear orange, orange dress, maybe pink shoes, but I'm likely to wear black shoes. But I feel like that's the outfit that I always wear, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm likely to wear black shoes. Um... I got this blouse for work. I've always wanted blouses. The dress is from Foshini, by the way. It was on sale. I got it for like 300. Uh, this dress, no, this <laughs> blouse is from there. Got it for work. I actually don't own a blouse, which is very weird. Then I got this shirt also on sale. Uh, it's, it's a very nice shirt. I, I, I can't really try on hold, it's too hot. It's a nice white shirt, also for work. Needed those, got these bracelets. I know that there's a brand, I don't know what brand it is, a very expensive brand, but Foshimi has them, Shein has it. So I got these, let me just show you up close. I got these. They're actually really nice and these are the earrings so i'm gonna wear the middle ones yeah these are the earrings yesterday i bought shoes like i wanted an idea of what i'll actually wear to this event i brought pink shoes from jet <laughs> they're actually from jet i got them for 130 how wild is that? Anyways, I got pink shoes and I think this color blogging will actually work. I think I'll see. If it doesn't work, I'll wear black shoes. They're the same design anyways. Uh, yeah. I'm making pasta out of this. So I'm making mushroom pasta. Anyways, so onions, mushrooms, aromat, garlic, irama okay this is not rama this is bread spread we all call it here rama but we take it back we bread spread margarine rather uh peppers not we all like hi me be clear mushrooms okay i actually took out the wrong one uh i'll be adding three cheese sauce and then this mushroom sauce curry powder cayenne pepper salt and vinegar seasoning and uh what's this mixed herbs and i'll add like probably chicken spice and then uh
actually looks very nice, so I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. This is the final product. Uh, love, love, love how it looks, and yeah, maybe could have added more sauce, but tastes good. So that's a win. A win is a win. I just made really good sauce <laughs> like actually really good sauce and yeah uh that was nice uh this is the book that i'll try and read as much as i can this february because it's the love month so why not why not well we're beginning length very soon so might as well connect my heart through this yay okay uh i just want to close off this video with speaking about myself <laughs> anyway so today is the fourth of um of february that means in 2020 third of february i started my journey uh in the legal profession as a candidate attorney that means officially tomorrow I'll be starting my journey towards my fifth year. It's now four years and it's going to be my fifth year next year. Um, I'm going to be finishing my fifth year next year. So now I have post four years experience, post admission and everything that I thought would never happen in my career. Everything that I thought would never happen in my career has actually happened, not just in my career, but in my life. First things first, um, when I look back, I didn't know that I would do articles because I never saw myself in practice. And to say that I actually enjoy practice more than anything is one of the wildest things that I couldn't even imagine myself saying. But um, four years later, I still would choose litigation over everything. Um, yeah, maybe I'm still yet to experience uh, the different uh, side of corporate life but i think practice is just my preference for now and that's something that i didn't think would actually happen um yeah and 
so things just are different for everyone and things turn out differently i didn't anticipate being in the same town that i'm in and uh being in maybe even the same practice but i'm here and i'm growing and it feels different to reflect that you like this is the person i was like i remember on the third uh i had short hair like my hair was the short because <laughs> i cut i chopped it in january 2020 so i had short hair um i didn't wear glasses i'm not wearing them right now because uh, it's hot it's load shedding by the way uh i didn't have glasses uh and also i just didn't know much about practice and I was just so afraid about a lot of things and yeah i drafted a wrong pleading <laughs> luckily it was not an urgent thing it was just a task that i needed to do <laughs> can never forget that and you know what pleading was that it was simple summons <laughs> i don't want to say that out loud anyways yeah so uh i just want to say um i'm grateful uh, once again for having been employed like i've never not had a job since graduation the only time that i didn't work was in january simply because i went to an interview on the 8th of january and my principal uh asked me if i wanted to start in jan or maybe do it the fresh month i said fresh month because i needed to just go back to durban pack my race because in December, I didn't have articles, so I was like, okay, I might just as well come back for my master's. I applied for that, and yeah, I didn't continue with that. I did articles, and yeah, uh, I'm grateful for that. And after that, went to practice, went in-house, was a, in advisory in an entertainment company at some point, and things are different, but they are not what I had expected to do. Like, when you have goals, there's so many things that you set for yourself and so many things that you want to see for yourself and i'm hopeful and uh i trust god to be working towards the things that i'm hoping i was hoping to have achieved and have done but i've achieved so much like i've i'm, I'm admitted um had my first car i've kept my first real job i've had a job in a big company where i didn't know anyone there and have never met anyone and had an environment where it's so different and it's so uh like there's no one that i know but i i, I made it there so i stayed there for about 11 months and yeah anyways with that said i just want to share things that i think would be helpful if you are um things that i did wrong that I, i'm hoping that you would do differently if you are just coming into the practice or you are maybe in your fourth fourth or, fourth or third year of varsity things that i did i did wrong was that i didn't socialize so uh i don't socialize in varsity i still don't socialize now like now even even worse i like i do go to things that like that are like events not going to a bride going to a, a get together but i would attend a conference if there is i would attend a talk if there is but in terms of socialize, uh, socializing in the social setup, I still don't. But I wouldn't have done that in varsity or first or second year of articles if I, had, if I would do, uh, redo them again. And that's because uh, it helps you. In, in campus, I used to forget events. Like there would be so many events. There would be uh, career days. There would be speakers. Unless it's in, like, if you know how, how Howard is set up, unless it's at HC1, at, at the theater, and I'm attending H, at HC1 and, or HC2, I'll remember, okay, this is a, uh, there's an event that I needed to attend. But if that's not the case, I would forget about it and would not attend it because I wasn't socializing. And uh, the second thing that I wish I had done early was to apply for articles early wish i had applied for articles early maybe i would have had a different career path i don't know but yeah i think applying for them early gives you a choice maybe you could get many offers some people actually have that story that's not mine uh yeah 
and it goes against the issue of me socializing i only understood the importance of doing articles in fourth year when i was starting to apply for jobs of legal advisory i'm like wait hold on they need you to be admitted they need you to at least have uh completed articles in order for you to in order for them to even consider hiring you and i was like i didn't know that and i wish i had known that and i would have obviously started applying like every other person that i know that's in a medium or big firm oh uh, in a firm that's um out of their hometown or your firm that's 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 uh in a medium or large firm applied early and had different choices and like had a variety of choices to choose from and also um the one thing that i also think i would do differently if i were to start articles again i wouldn't do them in a small town simply because there's only so much you can do in a small town there's divorce there's uh crimes usually petty crimes there's and you cannot run away from certain practices unless you have established yourself there is one big firm that doesn't do footy it's it, in a scale of firms it doesn't sit in a big firm it's, it, it would be rendered as a medium uh scale firm especially you used to do only uh civil work so if you are not in a small town you have a choice of deciding to go and be part of things like major um uh, m and a's i've never had an experience of being part of that because who's going to do a major in acquisition in Bojibston? and if they do it's likely that it's a company that's maybe in a big city like durban coming in to 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 acquire uh, a, a shop or property here and they would likely to use attorneys that are in the big town so that's another thing and um so i would I, I would actually even if it's a small firm even if it's a uh, medium firm I would do them in a big city, a city that has a, a high court simply because we do have a high court, but our high courts are not busy because it's just a satellite high court, basically. I would do it in a big city so that I'm exposed to high court. I'm exposed to even the offices, like the master of court, all of these offices, be exposed to them early so that I see how exactly uh, those things work because in our cases usually you, because you are out of town you're likely to see in correspondence that are in bigger cities so yeah and yeah uh that and but the advantage of being in a small town and being in a small firm in a small town is simply that you get to actually experience the whole practice you get to experience uh what it means to have ethics what it means so when you are preparing for exams you are covered for paper two you are covered especially if it's a general litigation firm like the firm that i'm in it does everything uh you get to experience estates you get to experience uh uh your paper one of court processes you get to experience uh paper three on ethics and then uh one thing that also uh would be also a disadvantage in a big in a small firm is that usually accounting is done by an accountant or done specifically by the person who does money in the company and you wouldn't have access to it so when preparing for exams i um, the only exam that i actually flunked is uh paper four because i didn't do much of it in practice i didn't pra i didn't practice it as at all i just focused merely on preparing by exams and studying and yeah and I'm, I'm not a numbers person so yeah anyways those are the things that i would have done differently but i'm entirely grateful for the journey and also grateful that i'm here and the future looks bright 
things are different as i've said i didn't imagine that i'd be living at home at this point but also <laughs> i'm living at home but i've also been blessed in so many ways i have the option of living at home and i also have had an opportunity to now purchase my own uh vehicle storage was giving me problems here it is i just wanted to say that i'm entirely grateful for the life that i have created for myself because my life looks very different from uh what it was four years ago it also i'm also living in so many answered prayers so many answered prayers so many assurances that actually god lives and that's what I, I, I wanted you to wanted to leave you with uh, that actually if you have a heart of gratitude for everything that you have small big setback whatever it is if you come with a heart full of thanksgiving you are going to be blessed and that's the mindset that i have for myself this year and yeah uh thank you so much for watching and also thank you for being a part of this journey because i actually started posting clips here i think around the same time and i've been posting for <laughs> randomly again until now anyways yeah good luck if you are a candidate attorney i hope you registered for exams because if you are thinking of registering today it, it, it's no longer it can't be done anymore you're right in august if you are writing good luck and yeah love you lots don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel